Welcome back. Um, in a previous post back, I received this, which is an electric microphone um, module with an op amp on the other side, uh, a Max 4466. And this takes 2.4 to 5.5 volts and has adjustable gain. Uh, on the back, there is the adjustable gain pod. And I thought, let's have a play with this. Um, I was looking at this module under the microscope. Um, I was trying to figure out what values they used for resistors and things. And then I noticed something weird. Let's switch to the microscope view. So this is the microscope view. And let me focus that a bit better. This has happened. So my guess is, uh, as you can see, this metal bit of the capacitor is, is missing over there. And somehow during packaging or shipping, this has come loose or maybe has not been soldered properly at all. And this happened. Uh, I think we'll be fine because if I look sideways, I can still see it making a, a connection. But uh, yeah, it's kind of weird. Maybe I can get it off just by wiggling it. That's quite on there. Um, I'll leave it just like that. We'll be fine. So to use this module, uh, all we need is ground and VCC. Uh, VCC can be anywhere from 2.4 to 5.5 volts and we should get an output signal. Um, it came with some headers which are these headers and I was about to solder them on using my breadboard technique just put them in the breadboard sliding over the module and then soldering it on um, but then I realized if I do that and it's sitting in the breadboard like this let me see if I can get the pins in the potentiometer for the adjustable gain is on the back and I want to be able to face the microphone wherever the sound's coming from, uh, probably me, and uh, still be able to adjust the gain. So I went and searched for some other headers, which I had, which are these headers, which have a 90 degree bend in them. Um, so that way I can solder this on like that. That's kind of hard to do on camera solder it on like that and sit it straight up into the breadboard and still be able to adjust the gain. So let's heat up the soldering iron and I'll get out some white tack just to hold it still. And I'm going to use 0.7 millimeter solder wire for that. Shall Soldering iron should be hot right now. Start with VCC. Let that cool down. Normally when I solder, I have a, a fan that blows away the solder so I don't breathe in, but it's kind of noisy, so I didn't turn it on. Let's do the ground pin. and do the output pin a bit more there we go now I could just hook this up to an Arduino and use the output pin on an ADC pin of the Arduino uh, but what I'm going to do is put on VCC and ground and hook the output pin up to my oscilloscope so let's plug it into the breadboard like so and I'm just gonna steal five volts from this Arduino that's usually how I do it when I need five volts I need some hookup wires I found red by the way that's five volts let's zoom out a bit there you go that's five volts and let's put in ground 
connect them to the module and should have used a longer wire for that. Still red, no good today. I need a longer wire. Just gonna use blue. So here's the probe of my oscilloscope. I need to connect ground to the ground pin of the Arduino, which is over there. And I'm gonna use orange today as the output pin. I'm gonna hook that up to the probe. So one of the cool features that my oscilloscope has, it has an app running on my PC and it connects through Wi-Fi to my oscilloscope. Uh, as you can see, it's the Mixic oscilloscope. Um, so I can show you what I'm seeing on my oscilloscope. Uh, this is the input of the microphone. As you can see, it's very noisy and it barely detects me speaking and it's actually at this angle pointing right at my mouth. Uh, so to use this as a microphone for all your applications, it's not gonna work. Um, what it is gonna work for is using it as a sound level detector. So this is the basic sound level it's detecting right now. Uh, if I clap, you should see it registering on the oscilloscope. And we could use that in, for example, Arduino to detect a level of sound. Um, a simple circuitry uh, is a clapper circuitry, uh, which uses a clap, so a peak in volume, uh, actually a peak in voltage, uh, to detect whether a sound or a clap is made, and then does something. Um, I'm gonna make one, and I'm just gonna put one LED in and use a clap to turn the LED on or off. So back at the bench, I can and now disconnect the oscilloscope because I'm not going to use that anymore. And instead, I'm going to connect the output to analog zero on the Arduino. And then open up Arduino. And this is the sketch I got from Adafruit. Uh, I've changed nothing. So all it does is it takes a 15 millisecond sample, uh, averages that out and displays the voltage in the serial monitor. Um, just have to upload the sketch to the Arduino and then open up the serial monitor. And this is the voltage that is coming through pin A0 of the Arduino. And if I now clap again, you can see, I don't know if you can see that on uh, on video, you can see a peak in voltage. Um, we're gonna use that peak in voltage to do something. Uh, in this case, turn on or turn off an LED. So before I can write the code for that, uh, I need an LED and I have one of these LEDs with resistors on it. I'm just gonna plug it in anywhere. Um, I need the ground pin I was just using for my oscilloscope. Uh, I need that uh, to go to the cathode of the LED. Just switch that around. I need another wire to go to the anode of the LED. So the positive. And I'm gonna put that in pin two. So that's digital pin number two. And the only reason I'm not using uh, pin zero and pin one, digital pin zero and digital pin one, uh, is because that's also being used for the RX and TX of the serial that is running on this Arduino. This is the code we used earlier to detect a voltage on the analog pin. Uh, I just changed a few things. I added an integer, uh, which is current state, which I'm gonna use in this bit of code to check whether the LED is on or off. Um, I've set the pin mode of pin two to output. And over here, um, there's an if statement. Uh, if the volts is above four, uh, then it checks whether the current state of the LED is off or else, which is on. Uh, if it's off, 
it sets it to high and changes the variable current state to one and otherwise it will change the pin to low and set the current state to low or zero. So now all I have to do is upload this code. So back at the Arduino, the current state of the LED is off. If I now clap, it should go on. And if I clap again, it should go off. So this is just a simple circuitry. Uh, I enjoyed doing this. Uh, maybe I can find some use for this. Um, thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.